USFG, the FG Mania, I'm an academic neurologist who spends most of his time, if not legal, with multiple sclerosis, thank you very much for having me this lecture. I just want to thank you for signing up and participating in our Papa Link Hand Rehabilitation Study called Papa Nova. The history of this goes back several years where we wanted to launch a campaign to speak about MS differently. And the message is very, very simple. Even when people with multiple sclerosis have advanced disease, in other words, they have difficulty walking or maybe even using a wheelchair, they can still have their hands to keep them independent. And their hands become their legs in a way because their mobility and independence depend on hand function. The problem with multiple sclerosis as it advances, hand function may deteriorate. Some people may notice that their dexterity or power is weakening or going off, for example. And the idea came, you know, why don't we exercise these and make them work harder? And the brain is very, very clever. It rewires itself and it's plastic and adapts to change. And this motto is if you don't use it, uh, you lose it. And it's part of rehabilitation. You can ask any professional musician or any professional sports person, if they don't practice and do the task and do the skill every single day, hours and hours a day, they lose the ability to perform at a very high level. But it applies to everything in terms of function. If we don't do this every single day, our hand function deteriorates. So the whole idea of having an over is to give you a tool that you think is enjoyable, okay, to use your hands and to make it work. And by doing that, you're training not only the muscles in the hand, uh, but also the center that coordinates the function and also the uh, cortex, the surface of the brain, to rewire itself to maintain ideal function. So please don't give up on this. Let's show that it works. And if it works, then change trial design forever. Because one of the things we haven't added into our MS trials, both for protecting function and maybe even restoring function, is neurorehabilitation. It's bonkers that the MS community has ignored what we've learned from other fields, for example, spinal cord injury, that unless you rehab, unless you exercise, do things, you don't regain function. And so this is what's underpinning this uh, under and over uh, research project is by using your hand on a repetitive basis, challenging yourself to do this sometimes very difficult task, and maintaining and improving hand function. So thank you. And what you're doing is really important, and we hope that it changes uh, the trial paradigm and the way we uh, manage multiple sclerosis and how we will do trials in the future. Please keep going, and we look forward to seeing the results.